Are you guys talking about money transfer to buy provisions? Yes. yes. But don't you know about Baluo? 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 What is Baluo? Baluo is a service that your son can use to send provisions directly to you guys from the shop. And you don't have to worry about the exchange rates. Tell me how Baluo works. It's very simple. Just log on to baluo.com and shop or download the app on your phone. You can shop on the website or using the app to buy online basic products for your family and friends. With Baluo, you decide what your money is spent on. Your money, your choice. Buy online products for your family and friends in the Gambia, Senegal, Nigeria or Mali. Baluo, better than sending money. For the first time in the history of the Gambia, Gambia Printing Publishing Corporation proudly introduces the Biliomatic Exercise Book Printing Machine. The machine has the capacity to print more than 20,000 books per hour. Yes, 20,000 books per hour. It also prints magazines, newspapers, calendars, flyers, normal books and all kinds of printed documents plus items at affordable prices. With the Biliomatic Printing Machine, GPPC can now render high quality and non size restricted printing service supply across the sub region. Rush now and partner with GPPC for all your public and private printing service needs. Print with us today and you'd be offered highly professional, reliable, and efficient service delivery by our team of experts. The Gambia Printing and Publishing Corporation is here to meet all demands and is reliable at all times. For more info, contact us on 437-4493 or 437-4402. GPPC is Gambian and it's yours. the brunch our weekly look at uh, current affairs here in the Gambia I'm Lamin Cham this week we will discuss uh, the controversial presidential pardons for ex uh, regime officials as well as prisoners from the mile two prisons we'll also discuss the uh, first part of the trial of uh, Osman Sonko, the former interior minister who is standing uh, crimes against humanity trial in Switzerland. And this and other um, com um, conversations are on our agenda today. And with me to do this, Demba Ali Jao, veteran journalist, is here. Mustafa Kedabo, just back from uh, Switzerland, covering that trial, and lawyer Lamin Jedabo. Gentlemen, welcome to the program. Thank you. Thank you very much. 
Good. Yao, the last time we uh, where you were here, <coughs> we postponed the uh, pardon extended to the prisoners uh, for today, for a discussion like it today. So we pick it from there. Um, the controversy is still raging on. Um, we heard that uh, people who were accused or in fact convicted of rape and murder were among those that have been released. And of course, uh, uh, one or two gov government officials who've been accused of corruption. There have been government's explanation, of course, which says that in the case of Bamba Banja, uh, actually, he had already served nearly a year of the two-year jail term and paid over a million, nearly a million dollars in fine for a crime that was just uh, $100,000. So the government said they think uh, by all standards he, he is referred, he merited um, an amnesty given his situation. And of course, he was not feeling well, as has been uh, in the plea of mitigation by his uh, uh, lawyer. In the case of a Senegalese tailor who gruesomely murdered uh, a lady, I guess, in Kotu, government said he himself is terminally ill. And in fact, the doctors have arranged for a private facility to treat him, which is going to cost the Gambia government a lot of money. The government spokesman also said there have been interventions by religious leaders, and there have been consultations with the families of the victims which of course was rejected by members of uh, his family. But the government insists that due process had been followed in all the cases of the 37 who have been released. What's your take? Um, thank you. I, I think we are lucky that we have got lawyer Dabo here, who is actually, I guess, a constitutional lawyer. He knows exactly what the situation is. But as far as I'm concerned, I don't think the due process was actually followed to the letter and the pardon of the prisoners. Okay, and they, I mean, uh, they may have uh, given us reasons as to the terminal illness of the Senegalese and um, maybe uh, whatever other circumstances surrounding Bamba Banja. But I think um, there are certain processes they should have followed actually to reach the conclusions that they have reached. But I'm not sure whether those processes were I mean, followed to the letter, and the, and the very fact also that you know, I mean, um, uh, they just told us, uh, gave us the list of uh, prisoners, names of prisoners who were released, but they never went as far as to explain to us the circumstances until the people started making noise mm -hmm. that they came on air and then started giving us all these excuses, and they could have done it at the very beginning so that they tell us exactly the reasons why they have chosen those prisoners. I know there are certain prisoners in that um, in that jail. Who probably were just um, uh, convicted for smoking, I mean, cannabis or whatever. You know, I mean, we all have seen all over the world now they are legalizing the use of cannabis, you know, as a, a medicinal drug or whatever. I mean, I think if they were to choose about people who were to be pardoned, there are more more suitable candidates in that prison than those people. I mean, people who have uh, murdered uh, people or uh, uh, people who have been convicted of rape or you know corruption and other things. Because um, the, in the case of the uh, Bamba Banja case, I think that was the the only reference that the government was giving that they were fighting corruption. corruption now yeah. they have I mean uh, pardoned him. So I mean on the very week that the um, the uh, anti-corruption bill was actually passed by the National Assembly after more than two years in that in that in that place. So I mean uh, I'm not sure whether it's definitely a, a very genuine case that the government has put forward as far as the release of those prisoners are concerned. Mm -hmm. Mustafa, you were following, were you in, you were in Switzerland, but you must have been fo following events back home. Uh, let me first ask, before we go to Swit Switzerland, uh, what was your take on the prisoners, um, prisoner amnesty? Um, so, you know, when the prisoner release was done, um, <coughs> on our WhatsApp page, even before everybody started mm -hmm. talking about I had asked a colleague to uh, do a search on all the prisoners okay. and, 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 tell, and, and establish why they were convicted. Okay. Because I knew so I, it didn't sit well with me. I thought something was wrong. They were, they were, that was and, the most sensible thing to so know yes, what their, their yes. crimes were. And, yeah. and so before that, I was on, I was on Kerfat. No, I was on For the People by the People So. Yeah. And this issue came up, and I told them the prisoner pardon, the way it's done in the Gambia, it's 
is it's it's not it's transparent. It's not transparent. Mm -hmm. Not transparent in the sense that if you are pardoning prisoners, mm -hmm. that's the first thing to address. Mm -hmm. uh, the you are the president is exercising his power in the name of the people of the Gambia, mm -hmm. and so his decisions must be explained. The rationale must be explained to the people of the Gambia. In full, yeah. So, for example. You can you have to publish the list of the people that are pardoned, mm -hmm. the crimes they committed, mm -hmm. the reason for their pardoning. Mm -hmm. Like for example, before the uh, the uh, government comes to now clarify, after a public outcry, yeah. this brief description, the reason why they were sent to prison should have been yeah, in the, should in have the accompanied should have accompanied yeah, the, the, the the release yeah. that these people are pardoned. Yeah. This is the crime they committed. committed. And this is, this is the reason why they were considered for claimants of mass. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Without this, it's not a pardon. Yeah. You cannot exercise uh, a power in my name and deny me from a basic explanation of why you exercise that power. Yeah. That is the first wrong. Exactly. Now, the second wrong is the lie that followed. Mm. <laughs> now, uh, we know a lot of what uh, Sankare said is not true. Uh, Dr. Banja, for example, mm -hmm. a colleague of mine is doing this story. Maybe I shouldn't go so much uh, into well, detail. But if you look at Dr. Banja's case, let's just pick that one. Mm -hmm. Dr. Banja's case came before, you know, he appealed this conviction yeah. before the court of appeal, right? Yeah, exactly. And he, uh, he uh, applied for bail mm -hmm. while his appeal was pending. Yes. What did Justice Roach say? Because the bail was on the basis that he was sick. He was sick at the time. Yeah? Uh, yeah, he had diabetes. Yes, so. diabetes and hypertension. Yeah. But Justice Roth ruled that he was unable to present any he document whatsoever. Yeah, to show. To show he was sick. Yeah, that was why it was refused. So if you could not prove before the court you are sick, yes. how did you prove before a committee you were sick? Sick. Uh, this maybe. is the point. <laughs> yeah. And seven months seven months into a two-year yeah, prison yeah. term mm. and also they said he paid the the one million the two Nearly the a million, one, yeah. the, the, the million yeah. that he was supposed to pay mm. because it's the million uh in default of which i think it's one year or two years yeah okay but we don't see any evidence that that one million is paid for people notorious for lying mm. how do we believe them Wow. I mean, it's the truth. I the mean, every time government speaks, they lie. They don't respect fight. the people. This yeah. is the truth. <laughs> mm. So, I mean, if you look, at, because they told people the families consented. The families came out and said, no, we didn't, we weren't even aware. Yeah. In the case of the Senegalese, yeah? It's, no, in the case of all the people, all people. Ah, almost all of them. Mm. You have families coming out all the time. Thanks. I mean, if you look at what's on Gambia, yeah. You know, the comment section is very interesting. Yeah. They post something. People go to comment. You, there are Gambians on that platform. Absolutely. So they go to comment. No, we were not aware. We were not aware. We were not aware. So people were not aware. So, so, so these are some of the things. It's just, uh, this is just, uh, and you know, there are claims that uh, even these prisoner pardons are, are also bought. So you know you you, you, you can know. buy it. Yeah. And, the, and you cannot in the in the in the presence of evidence of this nature, mm -hmm. how do you rule that out? Yeah, because this is ridiculous, Absolutely. right? Yeah, Mr. Dabo perhaps may help enlighten us. Um, the president does have powers to extend um, mercy, whatever they call it, provided it's recommended by a committee. We were told there is a committee in comprising prison officials um, and other others who advise the president on such matters. If that is the case, um, does the president is he is he right? Is he, is he in his legal rights to? Um, you know, set prisoners free based on this kind of uh, circumstances like sickness or having served, um, you know, your sentence for a reasonable time or good conduct or whatever. Well, uh, <coughs> if you look at the law, uh, Section 82, mm -hmm. one of the Constitution, there is no question he has the ability mm -hmm. to uh, pardon prisoners, mm -hmm. any prisoner. So that is the situation. It's a very, very wide power. Mm -hmm. Any prisoner for any crime, mm -hmm. yes. The president have the powers to do to, that. To that. Without, without, without explaining? Or we, we, we. No, without explanation. Okay. But I will go with uh, what Mustafa said, mm -hmm. that uh, uh, 
procedurally mm -hmm. in the interest of openness and good governance. Mm -hmm. uh, if you are going to do something like that, mm -hmm. come out and tell us your reasons. Mm -hmm. Now, people may disagree with you. Yeah. Yes, but of course, uh, in a democratic society, of course, there would be diversity of opinion. Indeed. People can disagree, but not to be transparent about these things. Mm -hmm. And then to come and tell us stories mm -hmm. continuously uh, about events that happen in our public affairs. Uh, you say one thing, then it turns out to uh, be the exact opposite. You know, it doesn't uh, give us confidence in the uh, governance system in the country. He can uh, pardon any prisoner for any offense. Yeah. However, there is uh, something they call a consultation mm -hmm. with the prerogative of Marcy committee. Mm -hmm. In that committee sits the Attorney General and three other people, uh, whether those are legal persons or uh, organizations or things like that. But uh, say, for example, I read somewhere that the uh, Christian Council, mm -hmm. the Supreme Islamic Council, yes. and the Social Welfare, Welfare Department. Yes. I have not seen, uh, it's incumbent on the government mm -hmm. to publish mm -hmm. the names mm -hmm. of the persons yes. in that prerogative of mercy oh, committee. Mm -hmm. Yes, so that we can check no, yeah. whether the National Assembly mm -hmm. actually approved that. Yeah. Yes, because uh, the National Assembly has to confirm mm -hmm. those nominees. I so see. somebody nominates the National Assembly confirms, mm -hmm. and then only then does it become the prerogative of mercy committee. committee. The Attorney General is there, that is a permanent position. Yeah. So it's not like the current Attorney General, anybody, anybody. who, uh, who holds, who holds the, the position mm -hmm. of Attorney General. So in other words, people, yes. it must be known who are the members of that committee. Of course. And, 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 and we don't know now, is it? Yeah. apart from the uh, Attorney General. Yeah, apart from the Attorney General, we don't know. Is there a committee? Yeah. Uh, we don't know. They said there is. Yeah. Well, they need to publish those names. Yes, yes. And the uh, president, uh, in consultation with that committee, mm -hmm. so obviously, in consultation with the attorney general, there is no problem with mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Attorney general works for the president, mm -hmm. so that is not a consultation. Mm -hmm. Yes, maybe the uh, uh, the prerogative of Marcy committee. Probably the reason why the. Uh, Attorney General is a member, so that uh, he can set some light on the uh, egregious uh, crimes that were committed, mm -hmm. or the nature of the crimes, uh, explain that to members of the committee, and uh, together they can decide whether they should uh, uh, allow those uh, people to be pardoned. Mm -hmm. So the actual uh, word there is pardon, yeah. should, should, should it uh, happen? Yeah. yeah, should it happen? And if they agree, then obviously that decision should be published. Mm -hmm. Again, in the interest of transparency. transparency. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Jawa, you were curious about the timing of the release. Normally you said such things happen on Tobaski religious days or New Year or Independence. But uh, like Mr. Dawes, the lawyer Dawes just said, the president can do these things at any time for anybody. Without, without, without explanation, I but agree. for transparency purpose, yeah. yes. No, I agree. I mean, it's, this was just a, a tradition that, you know, usually these things happen on spe special days like uh, Tobaski, Korite, or, you know, or Christmas, or, or, you know, Independence is just around the corner, at which it could have been another occasion. But it doesn't necessarily, the Lord doesn't, you know, we can do it any day, any time he right. wishes to. I have no doubt about that. Yeah. But at least, why, you know, I mean, just uh, do it. Uh, in disregard of the tradition. That's what I'm, I was questioning. But somebody pointed out to me that particular day was the day he was sworn in, I mean, in office oh, in Dakar. 19th on the January. 19th of January. Ah. So probably he based it on that particular day. Okay. But whatever the case, oh. I think... I so mean, that was the a special still day for yeah. him. Yeah. And he Maybe told that, okay, this him. is a day yeah. very special to me. Let That's me use saying. it by yeah. exercising mass. But I thought probably Independence ah, okay. Day would have been a more symbolic day, you know, nationally okay. than okay. You know, any other day. Oh, right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You do know also there are also National Assembly members who, have, who are on record saying that they have not approved any committee. Oh, they have not. They have not appointment of for any committee. Wow. 
So that means uh, there is no committee. <laughs> right. Uh, let's move on to another amnesty that the president extended. Well, of course, we had a few months back uh, Parliament passing a bill called Commission of Inquiry 